hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video guys i'm going to guide you how you can change the legacy mode to uefi uefi is a newer version and that supports the more security while the legacy one is the old system mode and this is not secured as compared to the uefi so in order to boot your system from the uefi bios mode you have to do some settings you need to check some settings on your windows before changing the legacy mode to uefi so how to check that first of all we need to open the disk management guys you need to right click on the start menu whether you are using windows 10 on 11 and we need to open the disk management once you have opened the disk management with the here the right click as you can see here i have two disks here this one is my windows type this one is my removable sd card so you need to verify first of all so in order to boot from the uefi you need to change the disk partition from mbr to gpt how to check that you need to right click on your disk then go to its properties now once you go to its properties guys we need to go to the volumes as you can see here gpt so i have already the gpt partitions since my system information is uefi already as you can see here so if you have the legacy bios mode here you need to validate some settings here so this is the first setting guys we need to change the mbr to gpt you should have the mbr partition here since you have the legacy mode so you you need to change that accordingly so first of all guys i should recommend you to choose and backup your all the data make sure you backup all the data in external drive if you have your personal data on it okay all the data should be backup before processing this step this is the recommended setting but if you don't have any data like the important data on it so you can go through with the steps but it's recommended to backup your data before changing the bios mode this is very risky guys you don't need to do without backing up your data so let's start now first of all guys we need to open the system into the recovery mode so you need to hold the shift key and then click on restart option so i'm showing you in the vm machine how you can do it so just hold the shift key on your system and simply restart your system you need to execute the commands here just hold down the shift key until you get please wait option now you should able to see keep holding the shift key guys okay the step number one is to validate the your disk drive where the window has been installed which file system it has it has mbr or the gpt so first of all we need to convert that so open your system in the recovery environment click on troubleshoot click on advanced options click on command prompt now once you open the command prompt guys we need to open this command this is command for the converting mbr to gpt allow full volume here as you can see here full os okay also the disk letter in my case it is disk 0 disk 0 just go with the administrative i have already the administrator in the user account as well okay just if you don't have the password you can go now we need to type for the command guys here is the command mbr2 
जी पी टी डॉट ई एक्स सी स्पेस फॉरवर्ड स्लैस कन्वर्ट स्पेस लॉफुल वेस कन्वर्ट स्पेस फॉरवर्ड स्लैस अलाउ फुल ओ एस सो वंस यू हिट एंटर गाइज यू शुड एबल टू कन्वर्ट ऑल द वॉल्यूम्स एयर एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो ट्राई विद दिस कमांड ऑल्सो इफ यू आर गेटिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ एरर यू शुड एबल टू कन्वर्ट द एम बी आर विद दिस कमांड ओनली यू कैन एग्जीक्यूट दिस कमांड एंड इफ दिस ऑप्शन इज नॉट वर्किंग यू कैन गिव स्पेस देन द डिस्क डिस्क स्पेस जीरो ओके बट इफ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ट्राई दिस कमांड फर्स्ट इट इज ट्राइंग टू कन्वर्ट नाउ यू कैन सी हियर यू हैव टू रीस्टार्ट योर सिस्टम गाइज ना कन्वर्सन कंप्लीटेड सक्सेसफुली नाउ बट यू हैव टू चेंज योर बायोस मोड लेगेसी टू यू एफ आई सो हाउ टू डू दैट यू हैव टू क्लोज दिस आउट क्लिक ऑन टर्न ऑफ योर पी सी नाउ वंस यू हैव टर्न ऑफ योर पी सी यू नीड टू बूट यू हैव टू गो इन टू द बायोस सो यू नीड टू चेक अकॉर्डिंगली इन द डेल लैपटॉप इट विल इट विल बी एफ ट्वेल्व की सो वंस यू गो टू द बायोस ऑप्शन गाय मेक श्योर यू यू शुड एबल टू चेक दैट ऑप्शन दैट इज द यू ई एफ आई ऑप्शन इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू क्लिक ऑन द यू ई एफ आई ऑप्शन सो यू कैन यू आर नॉट एबल टू परफॉर्म दिस स्टेप सो यू नीड टू प्रेस लाइक दिस सो नाउ इन हेयर वी नीड टू गो टू द बूट सिक्वेंस can see here guys and you should able to see here the two options one is legacy the second one is uefi or csm you should able to check that but you need to change it from ue you need to change it from the legacy or csm to uefi once you have click on this option you need to click on save changes just click on this option apply and click on then exit now your system should boot from the uefi firmware settings so after applying these methods guys you should able to change your legacy to uefi without changing any data and losing your data so i hope this video helps you guys if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching